I was thinking about something the other day when it comes to the Aspie community. I've noticed this for quite some time. Um, it's really cool because I have friends from all over the world, um, both Aspies and Zebras, and Aspie Zebras or whatever, highly sensitive, and sometimes neurotypicals. Sorry to say that word. I know it's derogatory, whatever. Typical people, not autistic, not zebra. Anyway, usually what I notice with the Aspies, almost always actually, is that coming out of different countries, whether it be Asia, because um, I have friends in Asia, I have friends in South America, I have friends in Europe, and I even had spoke with, I believe, Middle East, yes, um, and I believe there was one from Africa. But anyway, it's really interesting because there's not as much of a cultural difference between us. Like, I find there's such a culture shock with non-autistic people. There's a more, there's a bigger difference between cultures in the non-autistic world, the tip, neurotypical world. And I find that we don't have that as much in the autistic community. It's, you know, I can, we all have this like way of our culture, which is our culture. And it's really cool because it can almost, we can almost communicate with very little language oftentimes. Um, you know, I, I absolutely, Oh, I'm going to get emotional. Stop, Rose, stop. Um, it's nice to have, like, friends from all over the world, you know, like, um, I've had, I mean, I could just think, like, the UK and Norway and Germany and France, one of my best friends is in France. We're, like, sisters, and we've never even physically met. And we spent, we had eight-hour-long conversations. Mind you, she is a language savant, and she is so good at English that I didn't believe her when she first told me she was in France. That's not me. I'm no language savant. Thank you very much. I have other precocious abilities, language, foreign languages. No, that's not one of them. Anyway, um, there is a couple Aspie friends that I have in Asia that I've, I didn't notice any like particular, like the usual culture difference that I notice from out of Asia. It's interesting. And also even India, too. Um, who else? South America. Um, I know people in, like, Chile and Brazil and Mexico. Norway and Sweden. I know quite a few people from Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Love Scandinavia. I love all, I love all those places. Um, each country has their own... Each country has its own beauty, and it's really cool to learn, actually, about other countries through other Aspies, because... The way that they experience it and the way they describe it kind of makes sense to me. You know, like they they tell tell me what the facts are. You know, this is the population. This is what we do here. This is how we eat. And these are the holidays. Like the way they describe it. So kind of objectively, I'm like, oh, okay. Like I learn about other countries through my Aspie friends. But when we're talking amongst each other, we talk about common matters. And there's no culture shock. It's just... It's almost trippy. So I don't know who else finds that, but I certainly find that. And with the Ehlers Danlos community, I don't find that to be quite as much. Like with the Aspie community, it's literally like we're all, not that we're the same, but we're like the same. Um, but with, um, with um, Ehlers Danlos community, it's almost like people are, are looking for a common ground because we have this common ground dealing with this illness. And so we often come together you know, and that culture difference is less profound, much less profound. So it's really cool. And I think like, I'm very like global minded. I don't, I'm not as like nationalist, you know, I, I sort of, um, I'm super fascinated in other cultures, even though I'm a little bit phobic of trying other languages. I'm kind of a perfectionist about pronouncing things and I don't want people to laugh at me. But anyway, I'll try harder. I always make my Aspie friends speak English. I feel so bad speak English to me. I never make an effort. So one-sided, isn't it? Um, but that's often the way with, like, English dominates and 
it sucks. And I feel bad for playing into that, I'm not making an effort. But anyway, um, oh my gosh, I'm just rambling as usual. With my giant ugly cup that I claim to not like, but keep using. Um, dork. Anyway. Bottom line, I think, I think it's great when people from different countries are communicating with each other. And that um, communities like the Aspie community, like the Ehlers Danlos community, like other um, other kinds of minority groups from all over the world come together. Because I think that continuing to separate issues by country instead of just looking at the broader, bigger issues that the world is facing. I don't think that's going to help. I think when people get together globally that they talk about um, the bigger, broader issues and compare and contrast, and I think that's really important. Not to mention that it's just, you know, thank God for the internet. I know that, that they say that too much of it causes flares with people like me and too much radiation and blue light. That's why I have these, by the way. I just don't, they're so ugly. I don't use them when I'm making videos. These are blue light blockers with my broken glasses underneath. Yeah, I really need to get new glasses. I will be, although it's really good that these, these fit under here. It's sort of a fluke of convenience. But um, anyway, uh, they say that about internet, like all the bad things, but you know, the internet's my lifeline, and I love the internet. I also love life, physical life. I love my kids, I love my family, but I love that when I'm resting, because I'm kind of larger than life person, active mind, not that I don't just shut down and rest sometimes, but it's nice that since I have to be confined, confined to resting so much physically, that I can, that here are the keys to a global community you know, to the, the world, right? You can learn anything, and it's just, it's great. It's all great. Namaste. Blessed be. Yay!